Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Badina and I'm co-owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife Michelle Badina, who's sadly not here today. Um, so today I'm going to be demonstrating three very exciting violins. Um, so they are from different places in the world, which is, is sort of fun. Um, so the first one here, this one, is a uh, Helmut Ilner violin. Now Helmut Ilner is a um, violin maker in Germany whose family has been making violins for generations. Um, and so, and these are made under his instruction. Um, there is a, a D model, B model, a D model. Oh my gosh, my alphabet's not so good. A D model, a C model, a B model, and then an A model. And this is the A model. I told you it was an exciting video. You get to see the A model. So the A model uses beautiful European woods. Um, it's a copy of a Stradivarius violin. Stradivarius was a famous violin maker, if you haven't heard of him before. His violins are worth millions of dollars. This is not a real Stradivarius. Otherwise I would sell it and go and live on a, my own private island, possibly. Um, so, this violin has been set up by Richard at Whitehorse Music, who is a, a violin setting up genius. Very modest as well. Um, so, I will play this one, but first of all, I'm going to show you the other two violins. Now, this is a new violin to Whitehorse Music. It's called a Solist violin. Solist is the brand, and this one is called the Palo. They're beautifully handmade uh, violins made in China. Um, they have three different levels. The Palo is the top level. Oh, it's top level again. It's a very exciting video. Um, they use a really nice, beautiful, transparent varnish. And they're just really well made. From a violin maker's point of view, that's very, very cute making. Uh, and it's a copy of a Guarnerius violin, which is different model of a violin. And the next violin I'm going to show you is also a copy of a Guarnerius violin. This one is made by Paul Ridden, who's a violin maker in Melbourne, Australia. That's where we are in Melbourne, Australia. And Paul's been making violins for over 20 years. And his violins, um, he uses a, an amber varnish on them. But not, not the colour amber, although this is sort of like an ambery coloured vi violin, but um, from amber from trees. And um, his violins also have beautiful workmanship. So I'm going to play all three of those violins. And what you can do is you can say down in the comments below which violin you like and for what reason. And we will score your decision out of 10. No, we won't. You can write whatever you like. And I am going to play this one first. So this one is the Helmut Ilner A model violin. It's a real soloist sort of violin, something that, um, you know, really, really projects very well. It has a strong, even sound, and it's a very popular violin in this sort of price range. So that is a good start. Well done, Helmut Ilner. You did a good job just then. Now, next up, we have the Solist Palo violin. So I'll give this one a try. It's very similar to the Heinrich, uh, to the Helmut Ilner in many ways, um, but it's sort of like slightly more smooth sort of sound. 
It's possibly very, very slightly deeper on the bottom, this particular one, but it's a very smooth transition between the strings and very strong and very soloisty. Soloisty? Is that a word? It is now. So next up we have the Paul Ridden violin. So I'll give this one a try. So that has a very sort of mature sound, I would say. It's, of the three, it's the one that sounds more like a very, very old violin. We get lots of really old violins in the shop. I think our oldest one at the moment is about 300 years old. And this sounds like an old violin. It's not quite as powerful as the other two, but it's very sweet and mellow and very nice and deep down the bottom. So it's beautiful as well. Um, I mean, it would depend on your taste as far as violins as to which one you would choose as your potential violin. But please comment down below. Tell us which one you think sounds the best and for what reason. And we won't judge. We'll just, we'll just let you write that. You can just write that. So, um, yeah, comment down below and please come to our shop, buy all three of them, and that will make me happy. Thanks for watching. Bye.